Okay, I had no intention of vlogging today because I'm gonna be around a bunch of people all day. And whenever I'm around a bunch of people, I can't really be putting everything on camera. But I really felt like doing this today. So here we are. Here you are watching me put my contacts in. <laughs> It is the 15th of March. It's a Friday, 10 something a.m. I'm just, I've spent the whole morning cleaning because my room was looking a mess. So I haven't had any breakfast yet. Haven't really done much else other than cleaning. There is going to be a lot happening today. I'm heading to lunch with some friends and then I'm heading to a lecture, my last lecture on this master's degree. Crazy. Like absolutely crazy. I can't even... We'll talk more about it later. Um, from there, I'm coming back home. And then tonight I'm heading out dancing with some of my friends. So yes, we have a very exciting day in front of us. I'm, I'm just going to get ready now. I do have another hour at home before I need to get going. So I'm just going to make something small to eat. Nothing big since we are going out for lunch. But maybe, you know, maybe I'll just like cut up an apple or something. Yes, I'm eating in bed, mind your own business. This is one of my greatest joys in life, <laughs> eating in bed. I'm having an apple and I fried up a little egg to have on toast. Got my water and my tea, of course. I'm just gonna watch what's left of this episode of Suits and then we'll get going. Ta-da! Bro, my hair is looking so beautiful today, right? What is it? What is this little thing? <laughs> I'm so happy with it. Yeah. It feels so crazy to me that I'm, that I'm about to walk out that door. And when I come back, I've had my last lecture of this degree. I feel like it was just two seconds ago that I was on here half crying about my enrollment being late and this and that and now we're at the end of it. Well, not the end of the degree. The degree is still going. Um, but this is my last lecture because in the UK, the schooling system has three terms, right? So the second term ends around this time, end of March, and then there's a month of break. A month of break and my course doesn't have any lectures in the third term. It was the same for my undergrad degree as well. We didn't have lectures in the third term on that one either. But since that degree was a three-year bachelor's degree, it felt very different because I was coming back. But now I'm like, we just started and now I have to say goodbye to you. <laughs> Like, I am never again going to sit in a classroom with these same people. And it just... Oh, it feels so crazy. Like, it's been such a dream to be studying at this uni. I've really, really enjoyed my time here. And even though my time here, like, it's not ended yet, there just won't be any more lectures, and that feels really weird. Now, we need to get going so we're not late for our lunch. We're gonna be eating at an Indian restaurant, one of my friends, so we're a few classmates who are going, and one of us who is Indian was the one who picked the spot. So I trust her judgment, this is her food. I trust her, <laughs> it better be good. I almost forgot putting on my earrings, that was close. <laughs> no, this is made of rice, that's made of wheat. Oh. Roti kanai is wheat. This looks amazing. And Martha, could you please remove this just so I can show? Wow! Thank you. Wow, this looks amazing! 
And then we got this as well. This is our breakfast. Oh, is it? So Okay, it is now 5 p.m. We had our lunch hours ago now. It was meant to be six of us. We ended up being three because it's a Friday. Someone woke up late. Something else happened. <laughs> but I love the place. I love the food. Really, really good prices. Got a tiny bit of um, leftovers with me as well. Look, like, it's the cutest, tiniest little box. Um, so I'm, I've been holding on to this so I can bring it back home with me. We went to our lecture. It was a three-hour lecture on anxiety. So interesting. We also did, at the end of the lecture, we did a 10-minute meditation, which we've never done before, but it was such a lovely way of just ending this term and our time together. Ugh, getting hair in my mouth. And now I'm about to take a walk and call my mom so I can talk with her for maybe, I think I'm going to walk for one to two hours and then head back home. There isn't any rush. I'm going to go dancing with my friends later tonight, but we're not meeting up until midnight. So I know, I know, midnight, midnight. I am usually in bed by 10 p.m. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there's no rush. We have enough time to just take a walk, get back home, have a dinner, hopefully get a nap in, and then get ready for tonight. It started raining. I don't deserve this. And I suddenly got super hungry, so I went into Waterstones. I went into the cafe and got myself a spoon. So I'm just gonna eat my leftovers now. <laughs> yes, I did feel bad just taking a spoon from them. But... To be fair, I do spend a lot of money at Waterstones. So I was like, you know what? I deserve this one spoon. Look at my little cupcake. It's tiny! Oh, wait. Look! <laughs> I feel like you can't really see how small it is, but it's, it's a baby cupcake. Let me tell you about this cupcake. So I just got home, right? It's almost 8 p.m. I was taking a walk, talking with my mom on the phone, having a beautiful time. And then I thought, you know, let me get a little cupcake so when I come, come home, I can have a moment to myself with my cupcake, with my tea, to celebrate and reflect over the fact that I just had my last lecture, right? So I was like, okay, let me buy a little celebratory cupcake. I find this cupcake, I get it, and she hands it to me on, on a tissue, on a tissue. And I'm just standing there like, because I still have, like, I'm not home. And my plan was to eat this like hours after buying it. So I was just standing there like, what do I do now? Because I was already holding grapes in my hand that I had bought and my notebook. So I asked her, I'm like, oh, like, would it be possible to get a box? Because they do have single cupcake boxes, but for the regular sized cupcakes. So I was like, oh, like, you know, I know this one is very small, but would it be possible to get a box? she doesn't give me a box because <laughs> she said the boxes are too big so i was just like okay so it just ended up with me for like over half an hour i'm just walking around holding this cupcake in my hand <laughs> and just you know all i could think was like don't drop it do not drop it do not drop it and then i got on the train to come back home I was like, what if somebody bumps into me? <gasps> My celebratory cupcake, you know, poof, gone on the ground. But yes, we made it back and the cupcake is whole, as you can see. <laughs> so all good. I am so happy to have a few hours at home before we need to get going again. I'm just about to make some quick pasta to eat. I just really need this time for myself to recharge, 
so I can be ready for tonight because I do get, I do get quite overwhelmed having several things planned into one day and being around a bunch of people. I know you didn't get to see it because I wasn't filming when I was at uni, but you know, spending hours at a lecture and having a bunch of people around me and having to say, you know, hi, how are you to so many people as much as I enjoy it. And as much as I enjoy, you know, having lunch before with my friends, it does overwhelm me and my social battery just goes, pew, it crashes. <laughs> my social battery completely crashes. So I'm just, I'm really happy to be back in bed. I need this time. <laughs> I need it. I was gonna make pasta, but I saw some other stuff in the fridge. So now we're making a salad situation instead. <laughs> I'm having my little celebratory moment. Got my tea, got my cupcake, got some grapes. I love that this is me before a night out. <laughs> Outfit for tonight. Ta da! <laughs> it's a costume party. It's a Greek carnival party, so everyone. Uh, where's the volume? <laughs> it's a Greek carnival party, so everyone's gonna come dressed up as something. The costume. I had the perfect idea of what I wanted to go dressed as. I ordered everything for it. I was so excited about it. Then I get everything and it's too small. It was way too small. And I didn't have enough time to sort it out. So this is my very last minute costume. <laughs> Let me put this on as well so I can show you. I'm wearing sweatpants. <laughs> like, look at this. Wait. Do you understand how comfortable I'm going to be on that dance floor? That was my number one priority for this costume and my original idea. I was like, I want to be as comfortable as possible while dancing. It doesn't get more comfortable than this. It's a tracksuit. It's a tracksuit. Okay, let me put this on. I've never been to a Greek party before. So my friend who is half Greek invited us to come with her. It's probably just gonna be me and like our other two non-Greek friends who are not Greek. I think everyone else is gonna be Greek. I'm really, really excited to see what it's gonna be like. Why are you so high up? I feel like, let me put you here so you can actually see. Can you see it? I don't know, like this, I don't know. Should I kind of tuck it in? Should I just, hmm, 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 hmm. We need to figure it out. Also, if I get too hot while dancing, what then? Should I just take this off and kind of tie it around my waist? Hmm? I thought it couldn't get better, but look at it zipped up. That is so cute. I added a little necklace as well. This is the only way I'm going to a nightclub from now on. Do you know how comfortable I am right now? <laughs> it's you. Yay! The blonde suits you. Yes, yes. It's blonde. <laughs> We have tapped out. It's time to go home. It's time, it's to, time, go time home. to go home. It's Everyone, <laughs> 318. Everyone else is still 
fencing though. Yes, <laughs> but we're us three, the we're grannies. Tired. Yeah, the we're grannies. Out. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little hearing loss right now. Oh, sorry, no. I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm annoyed because I wanted food, but there's nothing open in my area. I mean, there's McDonald's, but we're boycotting, so... A night out is not complete without a kebab. It is not complete until I have had my kebab. Back when I was living in Sweden, it was Max. But now that I'm in the UK, a kebab. I need that kebab. Where is it? Where is my kebab? Where are you? It just passed 4 a.m. We've made it home. <laughs> I'm so happy that we got back home at an okay-ish hour because I don't go out dancing very often. I absolutely love dancing. I truly find so much joy in it, but I don't enjoy being out late. So I rarely go on night outs. But when I do go, on the rare occasion that I go out dancing, I don't get back home until 7, 8, 9 in the morning. And today, like before tonight, I was like, there is no way in hell. There is no way in hell. 2.30, 3 a.m., my ass needs to be out of there. Because I don't even drink alcohol and I don't do drugs. So what business do I have still being on that dance floor at 5 a.m.? <laughs> um, but the party is still going I hope that everyone is having a good time I hope they're having fun I had so much fun it was such a good mix of Greek songs and songs that I also knew so yeah I really enjoyed it and everyone working at the venue were really really nice as well Okay, it is time for me to take a quick shower. Your girl is sweaty. I need to just shower it off. And then I am heading to sleep. A tired and kebabless me is heading to sleep. Bye. Mwah.